you Vonticellus. Today is Sunday, March 22nd, and it is 7.20 p.m. I'm here to show you a couple of really quick exercises you can do if you have neck pain from sleeping in an uncomfortable position. This is actually entirely coincidental because I'm also going to do a video on how you can take care of tension headaches. Don't know if I'm putting that up today or if I'm going to save it and put it up in a few days. I'm not really sure, but that's what's going to come next. But I found this one out the other day and it's something I've done before um, but I couldn't remember how to take care of this issue the other day I found I couldn't move my head to the right because I had so much tension from a bad position it was just from sleeping in an uncomfortable position so I decided to look into if there were any acupressure points I could use or if there was any tapping I could do to help get rid of the pain in my neck and I found a couple of different spots um, two of them worked amazingly well so much so that I just really wanted to share them I also have to apologize in advance for this, this headset and microphone thing. Um, I had a better solution for audio and unfortunately it broke and I have to get something new. So until then, I might have to move this out of the way and try to keep the microphone in front so you can hear me. But again, I apologize for the look of this thing, but I have no other option for audio. So anyway, the first one I'm going to show you, I'm going to move this out of the way for and I hope you guys can hear me. Let me get the microphone positioned close so you can hear first spot, let me take this headphone out. <laughs> I, I wear headphones because I get headaches a lot. But just to show you this one, um, you have to go behind your ear. There's a little indentation right where the back of your ear meets with the top of your neck. And if you can get your fingernails out of the way, or you can even use knuckles for this, that's a pressure point and I'm trying to move my ear lobe out of the way. It's right where the ear joins the neck. There should be a little indentation that you can fit a knuckle or the tip of your finger into. And it's going to hurt, especially if your neck hurts, but you want to dig in or massage vigorously. And yes, almost to the point of pain. And it might actually be a little extra uncomfortable if you've got the sore neck going. So that's a good spot to hold on to or to put pressure on. I think the recommendation is for 10 second at a time interval, but I just found myself pushing in with Donna Eden. My energy medicine master, in my opinion, said is if it hurts, that means you need it. So when I had my neck hurting, this spot really killed me to do, but I just did it for a while. And the other one that I did, because that one, I wasn't sure if that was going to be enough. So another good pressure point is the webbing between your thumb and index finger. You want to press into right where your hand ends and the webbing begins, basically. So you want to use a thumb and put pressure in. And you can, again, also do a very vigorous massage into this area. And so you want to do that to both hands. So again, I'm going to try to get this closer to the camera. The webbing, right where the hand muscles meet up with the webbing, that's where you want to dig in. So I'm digging with my thumb. And again, do both hands. I don't know if one side has more effect on the other, but I just found working both hands did the job for me. So the combination of this pressure and the pressure behind the ears should help you if you've got neck pain. Um, I also recommend you check out videos by Dr. Mandel. I'll put a link to his site. It's not Howard Mandel. I believe it's Alan Mandel. I'm not positive, but I will put a link to his site for you in case you want to check him out. He's really good. He's a chiropractor, and he has a lot of really useful videos up that you can check into. So once again, I hope you enjoyed that. As always, please let me know in the comments down below. And oh, I want to add one quick anti-stress or one anti-panic thing you can do because I know a lot of people are still really freaked about the coronavirus and I don't blame them. There's so much we don't know and so many people are getting this. But just a real quick anti-panic, non-tapping exercise you can do is just take your hands. You can do this with both hands, not at the same time, obviously, but with one hand, just pinch your fingers together and just grab the tip of that hand with your other hand and squeeze. And when I say you can switch hands, I mean you can also do your other hand, do the finger pinch together, get the edge ends of your finger all at the same point, and then just grab and squeeze the tip. That's just a good anti-panic technique. If you find yourself like always doing something when you really stress or freak out, like your first impulse is to grab a drink or a cigarette, try this instead. It could be a lot better for you, and it could be very helpful. Um, it was actually very helpful to me when I had a dentist appointment recently. I found doing this to be much more helpful and less painful than being a white-knuckle patient. Anyway, 
I'm going to stop now because I have to do another video about the headache pain relief, but I wanted to offer you guys that one. Let me know how you are. I hope you're doing well. I hope you and your family are as well as possible. As always, thank you so much for checking my channel out. Please smash the subscribe button if you'd like to learn more, and I guess that's it for now. Thank you as always. Namaste. Peace and light. Take care and be as well as possible. Cheers.